is what you said about Pakistan and the 1982-83 tour. You said you played them better because from the traditional side-on position, you now move to an open-chested position. I couldn't have found a better description for a Pakistan policy than that. Time. <laughs> there were big gaps in our playing foreign teams because not everybody had that interest to be, you know, we weren't that big in the sports. I mean, one example you give is between our first uh, tour of Australia and our second tour, it was eight years. Now, interestingly, Something like that is happening in foreign policy too. That, I mean, and by the way, in Australia, I must tell you, between prime ministerial tours, sometimes there are 30 year gaps, sometimes 20 year gaps. So, this, you know, today and India that the world wants to play with, and India, which is, which is frankly good for global business, and India, which sets standards, which is tests other people's mettle, it happens in my business also. And that to me was interesting. But there were two pieces of advice I saw. One was what your father told you. And I think that applies so much to us about playing fast bowlers. To me, the entire world is a bunch of fast bowlers coming at me. <laughs> Move early, play late. This is the advice I would also give to my colleagues. Move early, play late. Prepare well, anticipate, read them, and then play. And the other is what you said about Pakistan and the 1982-83 tour. You said you played them better because from the traditional side-on position, you now move to an open-chested position. I couldn't have found a better description for a Pakistan policy that time. <laughs> so, what I want to say, what I want to say to all of you today, we are here to appreciate, we are here to admire, we are here to applaud. You are a person, I think, really true grit, stout heart, a strong rib cage. <laughs> Never say die. Absolutely reliable, selfless. In many ways, a future generational model, not just in cricket.